You may remember me recently having a bit of a moan on uh, a video about a Tech 465 I bought recently. Um, I bought it off a guy at a radio rally and he said it was all working last night. Yeah, right. When I came home and switched it on, it wasn't working at all. No beam on screen. Um, the thing did power up and um, it was giving an output from the uh, calibrator um, onto my tech at the back there. Um, anyway, I had a look inside. Um, I could see a fuse had blown. Got a new fuse, replaced an electrolytic and uh, voila, it's all working. So I'm mightily, mightily pleased about this. Um, what we're going to do is um, just have a look at it quickly. Um, it was fairly, fairly dirty when I bought it. I've cleaned up the panel. There's some scratches to get out of the um, implosion screen thing here. A little plastic screen. I've actually got it clipped up to the calibrator at the moment. It's on a times 10 probe that is compensated for the Tech 453 at the back there which is why you've got the um, not very nice looking square waves it all seems to work um, scale illumination works of course that's the most important thing um, intensity works sorry if this video is a bit dark but I've you know got the curtains drawn and the lights off just to show the screen um, yeah, all the settings work, um, time base. The only thing is that I've seen so far, um, really uh, electronically, is this is continually on uncalibrated. The indent for this control here isn't working. That should be should click into place there, and it uh, you know it just isn't. Therefore, it is continually on uncal cal so if I there see now these inside there's um, like a drum inside that controls the time base settings so I'll move over this way um, as I say there's a sort of a turret type thing uh, inside um, rather like a musical box that you turn and that selects the various time base options and then there's a, like a fiberglass rod that goes through to the back to another switch so I'm going to have a look at that next and um, see what I can do there but you know you might say I'm really really pleased it was a relatively easy fix um, what was wrong was uh, this um, tantalum capacitor had short circuit id um, if I swing round I don't know if you can see the screen it is, um, where's it gone? C1419 up there. Um, that's connected to the unregulated 15 volt supply. Uh, the fuse had blown here. This, I don't know if you can see that, sorry. So the fuse had blown here. The 1.5 amp fast blown fuse that's on top of the board. Um, I then tested this electrolytic here between. Uh, ground and both of the pins and there was a very low resistance reading so I've ended up putting a 220 UF um, at 50 volt um, normal aluminium electro electrolytic in there switched it on fingers crossed and um, there we go Very happy about that, as you can imagine. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, I actually got two of these. I've got this one, and I've got another one that uh, he said the power supply had gone in it. And I've just had a look at that one, and the fuse in the back's um, not in there at all, so no wonder it wouldn't power up. I just wonder if he bought these and hadn't a clue what he was talking about. So um, I might have a go at resurrecting the other one. But... Um, what we'll do is we'll switch it off, um, I'll stop filming, I'll give it 10 minutes and we'll have a look inside and see what I did. Right, this is my other Tech 465 that I got um, and what I want to show you is what the problem was. Um, this is the electrolytic, the tantalum that I replaced and that was the cause. Now, 
this views here are blown. This is the uh, this is the bottom board. This is the high voltage section in there. So the fuse had blown, and I went around testing between uh, ground and various uh, components, but assumed it was somewhere in the high voltage supply. Now I've taken the screws out of this, so it's easy just to get off without me fiddling. Now I've not looked inside this one before, but it's as you can see the usual high voltage filth. Now my one had a single uh, uh, electrolytic, this is actually a slightly earlier model than my one, um, so my um, uh, electrolytic was placed there and I, this, this one has got, yeah this is, no, so this one has got two um, tantalums uh, in place of this one, they're both soldered to the same spot unless someone's been in there and repaired it could have well have done and just looking on this board say so I've never taken this one apart I can see what the problem is bang something's gone bad there look I was hoping to resurrect this um, yeah looks like something's definitely gone bang there I so say this is the high voltage section um, these five kilovolt caps here um, yeah, that looks nasty, doesn't it? That, um, there's a burnt wire there. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Bye! It's just cracked up and gone. Alright, so anyway, so this one looks like it might be a useful source, source of spares anyway, if nothing else. And it's actually got a better um, case on it as well. So... Right, maybe flip it over and we'll have a look at that drum thing that I was on about for the switching when mine doesn't work. It's with the scope the proper way around and these are the uh, switches I was on about for the uh, voltage settings. Now if you have a look this is the drum, if I can get this in frame properly, this is the drum. You see the little studs on the drum as it rotates? They switch into contacts on the side down there and this is the switch or the control that's the issue on mine um, you can see as I turn the variable control that turns and on mine and it goes back into Sort of like a um, indent detent setting. So I think either the switch is broken inside and it's not switching off. We're using this switch here, or it's just the coupling here is broken on my one. So I guess I can always use this switch or or something, or just have a look. Perhaps it's just these little Allen keys. Perhaps they just need tightening. Yeah, so this is all complete anyway, there's nothing really missing. So, a useful source of spares if nothing else. It was actually um, owned by these guys, so I'm going to use this, this case, which is in much better condition. There's a few little scratches on it. But it's the other one. My, one upstairs is, is a little bit battered and doesn't fit properly. You have to use some force to push it on. And I quite like the BBC, the old 1970s BBC logo there. And mine's missing this little plastic bracket thing here. So yeah, and this, this is actually um, an earlier model and it's got option 5 on it which was the TV line source. And the sink separation coupling. I guess what's that's another board in there somewhere. I haven't researched it. It's a shame really, I would have liked to get got this one going as well. But I would think that um, those burnt components mean it's means it's pretty terminal. So anyway. Tech 465.
not a success, one upstairs successful, thanks for watching.